the Yup, I Like Wrestling Podcast. You see what I did there? Are you going to start? Oh, yeah. Are you real right now? The greatest general manager. <laughs> Jesus. I'll allow it. That's, that's peon moves. <laughs> yep, I like wrestling. Greetings from Parts Unknown. My name is Sonny Sofrito, and today I am joined by the greatest general manager in Yep, I like wrestling history. And I'm also joined today by the incredible intern, Nez. What? What do you mean incredible? You're not that incredible, what? dude. What is happening? You know yeah. how long it took for you to freaking fill these glasses of water up, man? What the hell is? Yours is filled. Mine's just still empty. <laughs> oh, gee, well, incredible. You did drink a little bit of it. Oh, incredible. Yeah, yeah. don't blame me for that. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> well, we might blame you for something. I've never no, been no. so dry. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's how rumors get started. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back, gentlemen. What's going on? So uh, last week we had our uh, shit show. Yes. Oh, no, yes, no, 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 yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Yes, it yes. was the Yep Shake Up where we had members of the Unpopular Review. <laughs> they joined us on, they joined me on the podcast and you were on Unpopular Review. Shit. And with Chris, <laughs> I was on Unpopular Review and so was Beige Benoit. So uh, it was a nice little uh, switch up, but now we're back home. So it's good to be home. Yeah. In the words of Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, there is no place like homos. So how are you, gentlemen? How are you two? How the, are the, you? The, the funny thing is that he's actually wearing ruby red slippers. Oh, <laughs> shout out to the right ruby now. set. They have spikes, sonny. Yeah. I actually have spikes on my shoes. Yeah, yes. they actually do. <laughs> Direct from Japan. Thank you to all my Japanese followers. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Arigato. So, oh, uh, yeah. Konnichiwa. Nez, mm. good to see you, Nez. How are you? I've been a little iffy lately oh. with the sport of wrestling. Oh, yes. I think we've all been a little iffy with yes. the sport of wrestling lately. Yes. Ever since WrestleMania, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, are you completely recovered from WrestleMania? I'm 75% recovered from WrestleMania. Yeah, how about you, Nez? Are you? I'm 2%. <laughs> <laughs> it took a lot out like... of everyone. <laughs> I feel like every WrestleMania sign I see is just like, damn. And they promote it on the network every day. So it's just like another seven-hour show. Is it PTSD for you? Because it's PTSD for me. Yo, you know what? I ain't going to It's kind of like that for me because yesterday I was at the gym and I saw somebody wear it with a, um, a WrestleMania <laughs> t-shirt. And I just wanted to go kick him in the chest. Did you just scream <laughs> and run like a Vietnam War vet? Yes. No, no, no. I wanted to just kick him in the chest. It's oh, over already, please. damn it. Yes. Wow. God, it was hard. It was, it was difficult this year. Yeah, but, uh, what's been more <laughs> difficult lately has been WWE TV. It has not been the best. No, not at all. So, as I at once had sex with two women, let's dive in and get this over with, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Shout out to Marissa Ooh. and Judy, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> I did my best. Sonny, wow. where is... Wait, wait. I want to hear more what about yeah, Marissa and Judy. So here's the thing. Some women, if you tell them that you like men, they want to change you back. They will actively say, I can change you. And when you're in college, sometimes you are up for that challenge. Nez, hmm. you know what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> so these two ladies in my college decided to change me. And I, I being the general manager, I was a brave soul. And I just, I, I dove right in, Sonny, and did my best. I was like a Marine. I tried my best. <laughs> just couldn't get the job done. I, did, I could not get the job done. Right. And ladies, it did work. That's all I have to say about that, Sonny. <laughs> I've lived. That's all I can tell you, Sonny. You weren't good enough. I was not. There was a few good men, them, and none of them were in the bedroom at that night. <laughs> wow. so, yes. All right, but so um, valiant effort, ladies. <laughs> in any event, Sonny, there is some news that we have to go over. Um, yeah, there is some news that we have to go over. Like, uh, you know, the fact that Fox and the USA Networks are both uh, unhappy with this with the brand split and think that WWE should cut it out and, you know, go back to the way it used to be. And, uh, I think that's what led to the wild card oh, by Vince McMahon, which we were going to speak more about when we get to talking about to. Monday Night Wrestling Monday program. program. 
But, uh... First of all, I feel this Fox deal has been going on for seven years. Like, I feel like I've heard the word Fox go on forever and nothing has happened. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering when this shit is going to be on Fox for exactly. them to be, they've, like... They've been promoting this since, like, when? Ever! I feel like since last WrestleMania, they've Ever. been doing this. I bet you Fox is reading their Twitter like, what? We didn't say shit. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, Fox knows nothing! <laughs> I mean, I feel like some people at Fox are like, yo, we sold that shit with the Disney, sh- uh, with the other <laughs> shit to Disney. Don't worry about it. We're good. <laughs> it's like when you break up with someone and then you try to look happy on social media. I think that's what WWE's doing. Like, oh, yeah, we're going to Fox. And Fox is like, who? Where? <laughs> yeah. No, we're going to give you a special. <laughs> <laughs> we're just friends, WWE. We're not trying to cuff you right now. Like, that's Fox's monologue right now. For real. But um, in any event, I believe Fox wants Rousey, and they want the Attitude Era back. They want a lot of shit. Yeah. They're like a needy Puerto Rican woman. They want a lot. Sonny, a the lot. Thoughts and no, opinions. No, you can't claim this. Claim the, that. You can't disclaim that. I can't disclaim it? Why not? No. It wasn't. It, as bad need, as a, everything, but that he but, but a needy Puerto Rican woman. You gonna say that's that that sounds about accurate? Yes, it is pretty accurate. Yes, no, it is accurate. Yes. Uh, At least eighty five, eighty five percent. You gotta get her shit, nails you know done, what? clean the house, take care of the kids, beat ah, up the shit. pussy, as the children say. You know beat what? It up. Get the you know, you know what? Never mind. I, you know? I actually gotta allow that shit. Let her go exactly. through your phone. I, I forgot about I forgot about my history. Never mind. Yeah, you know, <laughs> get hit with the chunk. You, you, you know, chunkla. get hit with the chunk. Yeah, you know. Call at 8 o'clock, you know, everything, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, Fox wants a lot. Um, <laughs> they want Rousey. Those, Do they want Rousey pregnant or not? You. <laughs> you, want a, you want a wrestling Rousey pregnant? A baby on a pole match? We're not ready to watch that, Sonny. We're not. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Do you remember when Gene Snisky kicked the baby into the crowd? Yeah. It, yes. Makes me think of South Park. Oh, shout out to South Park. Kick the baby. So... <laughs> We're, you're not getting Rousey, Fox, first and foremost. Secondly, the Attitude Era will never be replicated. No. Ever. Because... It was done the, by mistake. Thank you. When <laughs> the Attitude Era was happening, mistake. it was not planned. No. That was the people you had there and the hunger that made the Attitude Era. You can never replicate. It's like making lightning strike twice. You can't do it. It's like with the Hell in the Cell between Undertaker and Mick Foley... They have tried to replicate that hell in the cell, and they never will. You will never get the Attitude Era back, no, no matter how hard you try. There's no way. No, try. Yeah. So if Fox wants an edgier product, good luck, because you're not going to get the Attitude Era. It doesn't make sense, because the thing is, now you're going to change the way WWE does business in general. Just because WWE's motto is, hey, appeal to the kids. That way, now... The kid is bringing the parent. That's two tickets you're selling instead of one. Yes, 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 yes. You know? And if it's a family, forget it. And then with the merch on oh, top of that. Much. So, yeah, it's... And wasn't there talk that maybe WWE was going to sell to Disney at some point? Well, it, it was something that it was, it was entertained. And here's the thing. Deals are entertained all the time. You know, yeah, you may hear something like real crazy, like, oh, yeah, Disney's going to buy WWE. It's not like they were ready to sign on the dotted line. It's just, hey, you know what? You have a valuable product. We have a means to which possibly make it more valuable. Let's have a discussion. Let's see what can be done, how this could work if we were to go down this route. And sometimes it goes through and sometimes it doesn't. I mean, in the in the to the respect of, say, Marvel Comics. That was the deal that Jesus, went through. Jesus, you know? <laughs> you know? And uh, Marvel was better for it because there was a time when Marvel was about to actually go under. It was. You know? Definitely. That's... Last week. You know, wow, that, no, 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 no. So, for those of you who are new to the podcast, Teddy, who is a nerd and a geek for wrestling... No, I am not. ...is... A snob when it comes to anything that's comic book related. Because you people are nerds. So are you, you fucking nerd. I am not a nerd. Yes, you I are. I am cool. I am wearing black leather and spikes. I am cool, sir. That doesn't cool. make you cool. Yes, it does. Because no. I read about it. It does make me cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fonzie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Happy Days. 
<laughs> All right, so just imagine, just if I could just take you back for one second. Imagine if they did sell to Disney. Uh huh. Imagine Raw was a squeaky clean G-rated project, but they sold SmackDown to Fox and it was edgy. The wrestlers wouldn't know what the fuck to do. On Monday, they would be Disney princesses with magic wands. And then on Tuesday nights, they're like, fuck you, bitch. You know? <laughs> oh, God. Paul Ricochet wouldn't know what to do. He would just be confused, I tell you. Yo, you know what? Just for the, just for the, the writers wouldn't know what to do. Just for the craziness of that shit, I actually want to watch something like that now. <laughs> Bro, just, the aspect of WWE would just change. Everybody would be like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> there would be no cohesion whatsoever between Monday and Tuesday. The be... pay-per-views would be lovely to watch. One guy's doing an attitude gimmick and the other guy's doing a G-rated gimmick. The referee's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then they could bring in old wrestlers and de-age them like they do oh in like, Avengers Endgame where they broke, went back in time and it made Michael Douglas look really young. Still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> The more I try to stay away from this, the more he goes. All right, so you know what? Let's just rip the band-aid off. So what check I this out. My business, son. <laughs> we so if you have seen Avengers Endgame, I think you for the majority, I would say about ninety five percent of the majority would agree with us, me and Nez, yeah. that you know, not Teddy, because Teddy doesn't watch that shit. Watch but shit. that was an amazing movie. No, that was an amazing movie. Um it had ebbs and flows. High points, low points, Only low points. <laughs> humor, <laughs> drama, and a lot of action. Uh, a lot of moments that made me just go, just goosebumps. Cry like a bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. And, oh, <laughs> yeah, you know what? There, there, there was, there's a lot of stories of people that were crying. I did cry like a bitch in the beginning when the movie started. That's when I started <laughs> crying. But I did see the movie, and the best part. You saw was, it? Yes, I did. Oh, wow. I didn't think you saw it. So, wait, okay, so. N- no spoilers. There were, no spoilers, but there was one good part I will have to give it to you. The credits. Because that means the <laughs> shit was over. That was the best part of that film. Fucking the fucking guy. credits. Disclaim that shit. Yeah. <laughs> those, are the, those, those are the thoughts and opinions what? of Teddy, and they do not represent the thoughts and opinions of Yep, I Like Wrestling, oh, Comic 411, Film Fiends, oh, God. and any other brands associated with Yep, I Like Wrestling, God. or Sonny Sofrito, or mm. Guadalupe. My God. You've got more pages that are restraining order, my friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Shall we move on? Please. <laughs> Please. Wait, one more thing. Hold on. What's yeah. That? Since Disney's trying to buy everything they can. Yeah, that's true. What if they buy Yep, I Like Wrestling? Disney presents Yep, I Like Wrestling podcast. It would be nice and to get a check <laughs> that doesn't bounce for once. Yo, if they, if they send that check, <laughs> <laughs> shit. I will have te- I will have, I'll have Ma- I'll have Mickey Mouse tattooed on my ass. I don't oh, give a man. fuck. <laughs> I just imagine Disney sends the check and then Sonny's like, "Yo, I'm out to AC." It doesn't tell us why. <laughs> like he just doesn't tell us why he's going to Atlantic City, and we just show up here to film, and he's just not here. Like, oh, sorry, I got busy at AC. Like that was awfully soon, Sonny. By the way, the funny thing is that I'm actually going to AC on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> He just goes and spends all money every day. Yeah, yeah. Disney presents, yep, I like wrestling. Yo, I like the sound of that. It's not a bad ring. I have to play an evil queen. That's my only caveat. I have to play an evil queen. What's the fucking difference? Yeah, the <laughs> show, you know, I'm already doing it. Disney, sign that check, please. Yeah. Just, ma- just to make him being an evil queen official. <laughs> the evil queen of yep. Speaking of evil queens, Sunny. Dave Meltzer? Dave Meltzer. <laughs> Dave Meltzer. <laughs> Everyone hates this man. For what reason? Uh, I mean, first of all, let's give him some props. He's made a, a life out of wrestling. Yeah, yeah. He's, nah, had, he's, 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 he's been with well, us as long as I've known about wrestling. There's been a Dave Meltzer. Yeah. Nobody likes him, so he is an evil queen. Um, yeah, he's pointing out some things that, you know, WWE will not post any videos until after the show to try to get you to focus on the show. And that's actually a smart tactic. Um, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, something that I've said in the past on this podcast has been the fact that stop doing so many recaps, utilize your social media more, and have people go to your social media to see what happened in hour one or hour two. Because those recaps, they, they, they're kind of a they're downer. It's like, all right, yeah, I already saw this. I've been watching since hour one. So you don't really have to give a bathroom break to your viewers if you have, if you have commercials. 
You know what I mean? So and you don't even really get a bathroom break because they still show the match on the little no. screen during the commercial. They never want you to. Well, they don't do TV. it for every single match, but they do it at least twice, uh, just, two or three times throughout the broadcast. I don't like it. Yeah, I and it. I hate. And it, I think it was last week when I brought it up that they did during the Becky and Bailey match. Yes. They timed it in a way where some of the best parts of that match was in the little screen, which we should have been watching. I've never been a fan of this, let's cut to commercial during a match. They didn't do this back in the day. I'm, I'm not a fan of it because I feel it takes away from the, the match. You should always go to commercial when the match is over. You know, yeah. Give yourself a little bumper like, you know, stay tuned, mm -hmm. folks, because out up next is Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's like, oh, okay, so okay, I know. Yes. But you go to a commercial during a match is sort of like a little bit disrespectful because you can have that happening. What if we miss a good spot because fucking Chris Lee knows best is playing in the goddamn <laughs> screen? <laughs> you know, that, that fucking fairy. Like, I just, I, you know, I just, they never used to do this, and I'm not a fan of let's cut to commercial during a match. So, you know what? I wasn't mad at it when they first instituted that little thing they started doing with the little small screen, but it should be when there's a lull in the match. You know, when they throw somebody to the outside and, and you know, there's always that moment in the, in, in the match where the wrestlers kind of look into the crowd and get the, the crowd either behind them or, get, or they're getting heat. And usually that takes a certain amount of time. That time of the match, I don't mind. But it's when they do it during a, a pivotal moment of the match, of the story they're telling in the ring. That makes me go, yo, come on, man. Not good at all. And, and that's, again, it goes back to everything I'm always saying about the little things, the nuances, details. You know, that's why WWE is kind of sucking right now. They're, they keep on missing the, the, the target on all the little things. Yeah, because yeah, Raw, when it comes to it, it is a three-hour show. Yes. Nobody wants to sit there for three hours. No. Especially, for the, especially for what they give you. Yes. They give you like a whole hour of... Nothing squash matches. Yeah. With no way, Jose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no way, Jose. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> it's a shame what they're doing to the Dominicans. But, you know, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> those are Puerto Rican that got, a, that got a win recently. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Hmm. So before we get to Raw, Sonny. Yes. There will be a roast of none other than Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Yes, at StarCast, <laughs> there's going to be a roast of Ric Flair at Caesar's Palace. Yo, so I was actually thinking about buying that shit. I am so <laughs> buying it. I've got to hear this. I've got to hear it. Yeah, I think there's going to be some really crazy shit oh, that's going to be said. Definitely. Most Hot definitely. Hot oh, and I mean, and, and if you've watched a real roast, yes. you know, they go in. They do. They so, go you know, hard. They go in. There might be jokes about him, you know, doing signings with his colostomy bags, like connected to him and shit. Yeah. You know, like they really, because like he he had one when he did one at uh, House of Glory's uh, show, because that was his first signing event yeah. when he, after he came out of the hospital. Yeah. So it's like I wouldn't be surprised that you know you see shit like that happen. The wrestling business is a dirty beast, and he's been wrestling mm -hmm. forever. So yeah. there's going to be some shit. So that's why I need to see this. There's going to be some stories. You know they're going to come after the five wives. You know that. Oh. Without a doubt. He's been yeah. married five times. You Hell know they're yeah. coming yeah. after that. Yeah. You know they're coming out him being arrested for drunk driving and yeah. road rage. That's coming oh, yeah. after that. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, back in the day. The, him being broke. Him yeah. having no money. Yeah. He would often get drunk and put his robe on with no clothes on yeah. So they're going to talk about Little Leech. So they've yeah. got a, a, a whole plan. And we're not right talking about Charles Robinson. Oh, wow. Charles <laughs> Robinson. Oh, God. Do you remember WrestleMania? We had to run five blocks to get to the ring. <laughs> Poor thing. Poor thing. It took him 20 minutes, but he got there. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, mm. uh, when I heard about this roast of Ric Flair, I don't know a thing about Fight TV. I don't know a thing about StarCast, but I know one thing. I'm watching this. <laughs> I have to buy it. I have to. Yeah, yes. we're actually we're actually gonna be uh, using Fight TV when we uh, do our Double or Nothing viewing party. So Double or Nothing. Yeah. So shout out to DVDA. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. DVDA. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, double vaginal, double anal. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Fuck. Right. Shout out to Pornhub. Yes. Uh, you know what? I really yes. wish I didn't even yeah. ask. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did it to yourself, so you gotta keep it. Double yeah. or nothing. Sorry. I tied it in. So, speaking of Pornhub, gentlemen, shall we move on to Raw? No. No, we no, we're not. Shall no. we move on to SmackDown? No. 
Yeah. We're gonna move Shall on we to move the Monday. On to Impact? What the fuck do you no, want no, to do? No, no. Monday that. Night Wrestling Program is what we're gonna we start don't with. Call it yes. that. Oh yes, we do. The JR Monday Night would always say, "Hello, folks. This is Jim Ross, and welcome to Monday Night Raw." That's how he used to say it, Sonny. Yeah, yeah. Well, where is he now? At <laughs> wow. AEW. Exactly. With everybody else. <laughs> yeah. One of them mother, including Chris yeah. Jericho. <laughs> so, um, as we already kind of mentioned. We start off Raw, well, we start off the Monday Night Wrestling program with uh, Vincent Kennedy McMahon talking about the oh, wild yes. card yes. rule that he's going to be instituting where he's bringing some talent from SmackDown to Raw and vice versa. You know, oh, there was only one person happy with this, right? That's Steph Duviella because they kept saying wild card over and over yeah. again. <laughs> he's the only person that was happy about this shit. <laughs> wild card. Oh, yeah. Nez, what did you think of this? I'm just, I'm tired of all of this. No <laughs> <one>. <laughs> I feel you're still exhausted from WrestleMania, yes. sir. I'm saying you said I'm tired of all of this. <laughs> oh, this is all bullshit. <laughs> Did you turn Later your TV week? off as soon as you saw Vince? Like, I'm not doing it. Well, I, I, I turned, as soon as I heard Wild Card and I saw Roman Reigns come out, I turned my TV off. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was like, sir. 8 or 4, Nez tapped out. He's I'm like, I'm done, done I'm here. Done. I was like, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> this shit. I can't stand it. So oh. wait, when can they have a Monday night program episode where Vince knows what he wants. <laughs> Remember the first, what was it? The first week after Mania, the first night after Mania, they changed what the War Raiders name to the Viking <laughs> experience. <laughs> and then the writers was confused as shit the next week when he changed it to the Viking Raiders. The Viking Raiders. Backspace, backspace, backspace. backspace, 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 backspace. Yes. <laughs> I tell you, Vince has dementia. He doesn't know what he's saying until he says it. Yeah, I, I don't know what the fuck. Like, are they? I feel like they're, they're actually like producing this shit on the fly. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, I have a big word here. It says clusterfuck. That yeah. entire segment was one because Vince came out, Roman came out, Kofi came out, Daniel came out. Everyone was coming out and interrupting <laughs> everything. So every time there was a thought, it was inter- it's like when you're trying to masturbate and someone keeps calling. Have you ever had those moments <laughs> where you're trying to handle business but your phone won't stop ringing? Fucking hate that. That's what that clusterfuck reminded me of. However, Sunny. Put it on Do Not Disturb. Sorry, go ahead. Is that how <laughs> iPhones work? That's exactly how iPhones what? work. What? Damn it. And right now, I wish we could just go to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> During this whole entire match. But I hate that. When you got the video queued up, but the fucking phone keeps ringing. I'm, anyway. I'm not talking about during this conversation. Oh. But then the funny thing is that you have all of them come out. They're all talking to Vince. They're all talking about this wild card shit. They go to commercial. Now it's AJ's time to talk with Vince. I'm like, yo, really? Come on, man. Yo, there's enough talking. Just get to the wrestling. It, was, it just went on. That's why I called it a clusterfuck. It was too much. However, Sonny, I think someone in WWE walked, listened to the Yep, I Like Wrestling podcast. Why was that? I'm sure. Kofi did not come out with pancakes. Did you notice on Monday he did not have the pancakes? Yeah. He fucked up on Tuesday when he came out with them. But yeah. on Monday, no pancakes. So I was like, oh, listen. Someone listened to Sonny. That's exactly. a first. How oh, here's wow. the thing. Roman Reigns. Fuck Roman Reigns. Oh, I'd love to. Thank you, sir. Oh, Thank oh, you. Okay. I will allow that all, right. all day. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. You um, know, you, you do realize that you're just an intern, right? Yeah. yeah you know. listen, Fuck he, Roman Reigns. He, he, knows, <laughs> he, knows, he knows what he wants. He knows what he wants. <laughs> I have to agree with him. The youth of America. <laughs> Fuck Roman Reigns. I'd love to. Um, I think they're trying to turn him into a stone cold gimmick. And as I said earlier, you cannot replicate something like that. Because stone cold was just that. It was organic. Time. Yes. They're trying to turn Roman, who is a face, into that edgy face where he would punch a 77-year-old man. Which I don't quite get. Is he supposed to be a good guy? Why would he hit an old man? Because that makes him like an edgy face. And then when he got in the ring, he told, he told Vince something that literally I, I remember Stone Cold saying too. He said, Vince, first of all, watch your tone. That is a direct quote that Stone Cold once said, you better take some of that bass out of your voice, boy. And it was funny when he said it in 1997, <laughs> but they're trying to make Roman this edgy face. And it's just like either turn him heel or just let him be that squeaky king baby face because you cannot have another Stone Cold. You never will. It doesn't work, it doesn't work with him. It doesn't. But that's what Vince is trying to pull. Mm-hmm. Then you have AJ come out talking about, I built SmackDown. First and foremost, no, The Rock did that. Because it's literally named after SmackDown. Like, yeah. he's the one who started that. I lay off the SmackDown. Yeah, you know, so the house you built. No, the house was built 17 years before you mm-hmm. got here, first <laughs> off. Maybe you put down a carpet or a rug or something. But, oh, like, he was leasing. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> you rent, first of all. So it's like, yeah, I don't understand this. Yeah, but then it, it led into us going into the uh, Baron Corbin and Bobby Lashley taking on Seth Rollins and AJ Styles, and they had a match. And uh, the, I will say this. There were some really great spots in the match. And, and overall, for the past, those two nights, I got to say, the wrestling was actually really decent on both shows. I'll but it's the, the show you was watching. It's, no, mm-hmm. it was the, the matches themselves were decent. The stories and everything else surrounding it was a straight up F. I was going to give it a D. But you I always F. do that. So you yeah. always give it a D. Yeah. The thing always. I have about it is I'm a huge Styles Mark for what it is. What? I've always loved AJ Styles. But the thing I have about this is they don't know as well as Roman Reigns. They don't know if they want him as a heel or a face. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. And, and, you know, him and Rollins are arguably the best in the ring currently, I would put. And um, this just this whole tag team thing is not going to work out. I hate when they do this. Oh, you guys are going to face each other at this pay-per-view. So you guys got a tag Be team. A tag team now. Yeah. And then they're not going to work it out. And then a whole bunch of shit turns to shit. And it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> shit turns to shit. Yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. It is true. Like, like we don't have 80 tag teams in the locker room, circle jerking, doing nothing because there's nothing to be done. Now we've got to put these two singles guys in a tag match. It makes no sense. I don't. The only spot was um, Bobby Lashley's suicide dive where oh, he nearly killed himself. Would. Someone needs to tell him. By the way, suicide dive doesn't mean you actually try to commit suicide, Bobby. <laughs> you know that, right? So, you, okay, so here's the thing that, that struck me about that that uh, that spear that led to, to his attempted suicide. When he yes. when he does this, when he does a spear, he does a thing where he'll spear someone and then he'll he'll like roll forward, and he basically did the same thing in this spear, but then rolled forward directly into the apron. So it looked so much worse that I didn't care what happened to AJ Styles. I'm more like, yo, what the hell happened to Bobby Lashley? Like, I thought he was <laughs> Brie Bella for a second. <laughs> Ooh, oh, shout out to Brie Bella. Yes. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was bad, man. That, it was. that, it was like, you don't, don't roll after that spirit to the outside. That's, yeah, that, that was not a good look for him. I, I, I'm going to have to quote the Clamazon. Bobby Lashley, you are a big bitch. Stop <laughs> doing little bitch shit. Don't do that. <laughs> Shout out to the Glamazon. Harry back, darling. We miss you. Yes, we do. Shout out to her and Beige Benoit. Oh, babe. It was a long weekend in Montreal. Yes. Yeah. I can't wait to hear. I wonder if there was a screw job. You see what I did Woo. there, Sonny? Uh, you see what I did there? Uh, yes. And you can't just claim it because it's man, wrestling related. Yeah, yes. yeah. No, no, no. Ah, yeah. yes. Knee slapper. I just feel like it's going to be. <laughs> I'm going to hear it. It was a long weekend. <laughs> it was a long weekend in long Canada. Weekend in Canada. <laughs> Shout out to all my Canadian followers. Yes, shout out to everybody that's a member of Yep in Canada. There's a we yes. have a, a good amount too. Yes, yes, so yes. Um, after that match, then we had uh, speaking of Canada. Speaking of Canada, we had Sami Zayn and Braun Strowman, and Sami Zayn got thrown into a dumpster. I call mm. that metaphoric. Yes. That's, <laughs> that's where Raw ends up. That dumpster. Very true. Yes. However, Braun Strowman got his first pedicure this week, so congratulations to him. He posted it on his Instagram. Congratulations uh, to him. I feel sorry for the poor girl who had to do it, but yes. <laughs> Did they use uh, hedge clipping too? Oh, yeah. It was, a, it was a tiny little Asian lady. She's never done so much work in her life. But Yo, yes. let me tell you something. I've gone to go get a pedicure and manicure with Allison. And Shut up. Do tell Allison. I miss her. I, and I will. And, yo, let me tell you. There's this little Asian lady that. They put work in. Yo. Yes. Oh, my God. Yo, and she has these little hands. Yes. But, like, they're, like, hands of cement. So like she'll get like she'll massage my legs and and I'm like damn bitch who you mad at? <laughs> oh yeah, they get, oh yeah, they've got some stuff. Yeah. Have you ever gotten a Maddie Petty dance? Once. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, it was a one-time thing though. Yeah. It was what? a one-time thing. You know, when you take your girl there, they're like, come on, it's just like, yeah. All right, fuck it. But now I'm just like, here, take the money. I just slide it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so <laughs> let me ask you: Is let me ask you if this is the reason why you stopped going? It's because they freaking got you to get a whole bunch of shit that you really didn't need. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what happened to me. I remember the first time I went, I was like, yeah, yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. Because I've done it in the past. You know, it's it feels good. You know, a woman can, a, a woman appreciates when her man doesn't have jacked up fingers or jacked up feet. Mm-hmm. True. And you know what? I, I did it. But there was a couple of times that I went in there, 
And, you know, you, you don't want to say no. So, yeah, yeah. You, you want this? You want that? You want this? <laughs> That's I'm exactly like, yeah, how they sound. sure, sure, I was sure, about sure. to mimic them just like All that. of a sudden, bill comes. Uh, I'm like, yes. $235. And I'm like, for what? <laughs> Everything. And I was like, oh, oh, I need to, I need to itemize shit when I <laughs> next time I come in. But and it's I'm worth a, it. Yeah. It, I ain't gonna front. Yeah. It was definitely worth it. But uh yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Ricochet <laughs> defeated Bobby Roode to remain in the ladder match. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yes. What's, that? What's his name? Oh, excuse me. Shitty Rude. I apologize. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's Robert Rude. Uh, say diff. <laughs> say diff if you watch the match. City is not short for Robert. Uh, did you watch the match? You kind of it. I like I I like that match too, man. There was what? Par- there was parts of the match. You, you know what? It, you, okay, so here's what I liked about the match. Ricochet. No, it was not Ricochet. Mm. Okay. It was the fact that Robert Rude act worked the match like a heel the way he should be. Mm. It was it was it was almost as if I got really happy to see what he's going to be doing going forward because I haven't liked a lot of his work in the ring in the past because it's it's never. I was never a fan, but this week in particular made me say, all right, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing wh- what, what his next match is going to be like. He needs you to know? go back to TNA or whatever they call themselves now. Impact. Impact. Yeah. Whatever Impact. that means. Yeah. And they're talking about their ratings because that's the sound it makes when it, it makes. hits zero. The <laughs> impact is very loud. <laughs> that's why they call it impact. You guys are mean. That's why they need him back. You know what? It's funny. I went on their YouTube channel the other day, and I saw that they did, like, a remake of his Titantron music. Mm. It was, like, posted, like, a week ago. Oh, yeah? So I'm like, go back. <laughs> <laughs> like, <they're trying> <laughs> <laughs> he used your music. Go yeah, back. Go, go check back. It out. Come on. He was a big fish in that pond. He's just not oh, yeah. getting that mm-hmm. sort of success here But I think, WWE. But I think that he's on the track, on, on the road to getting, uh, to getting over now. Are you sure, Sonny? I'm not certain. He may not get the the um the chance to do that. What do you think, Ness? He needs to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Short and sweet. Or there just drop go. him down to, to NXT. Everybody I don't know if he can go there. to NXT coming from Impact. <laughs> right. Well, he was already there, but Sonny. Yeah. I have a question. Mm-hmm. The men's money in the bank ladder match. Yes. It's going to be Ali. Yes. Finn Balor. Yes. Andrade. Yes. Randy Orton. Yes. Baron Corbin. Yes. Drew McIntyre. Yes. Braun Strowman. Yes. And Ricochet. Nah. One question. Mm-hmm. Can I be the latter? That's my only question. No? I noticed you didn't answer, so I'll take that as a maybe. You know what? Maybe? You, you can't. You can't. Damn. You can't. You got, Damn. You got to be at Parts Unknown. I mean, at, at Jack Dubs. Oh, I got to host another party. Damn yeah. it. Yeah. I'm like a Russian hooker. I never stopped working. Yeah. Okay, fine, Sonny. Keep speaking of Russian hookers, makes sense. what was Lacey Evans doing? <laughs> wow. I feel okay. she was trying to wrestle. I think that's what she was trying to do. All right, she so attempted. before we start talking about this match, yes. can we talk about the invite she sent to the other ladies in the, in the Money in the Bank oh, match? Yes, she did. It's scented, Sonny. Why don't you ever send like, me anything scented? Do you want... You want an invitation sent to like yes. cobbler? Yes, that's what I want. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> right. that is never happening. Damn it. Can you send it like Hennessy? <laughs> just, just regular paper that's <laughs> 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 that I just spill on. <laughs> As you slow your words. I love it. So yeah. Naomi, yeah. Natalia, and Dana Brooke received engraved invitations sent it with peach cobbler in the backstage. Yes. Now, here's the part that I loved. Behind Naomi, there was a Louis Vuitton bag hanging there. And I was like, who the fuck can afford that in the ladies' locker <laughs> room? Because I have a Louis Vuitton bag that I'm going to be quite upfront with. Daddy bought that. I can't afford that. <laughs> so I'm looking like, which one of these fucking hoes can afford this? Because I'm trying to go through, like, it ain't Alexa Bliss. Definitely. Unless Trish Stratus was there for the night. There's no woman. <laughs> I was like, I know Charlotte has a Louis Vuitton because she actually talked to her father about it. Like, yeah. Dad. My first WrestleMania match, I bought my first set of Louis luggage. Like, there's an actual, what's the, what's the show they do on the network? On the Road, Driving oh, With? Yeah, yeah. What's that? Uh, it's On the Road, isn't it? It's on, it's on the Road. Something like yeah. that. But, um, so there's an actual speech where she's like, Dad, I, I, I got enough money to pay for my first Louis. But I'm like, 
between Naomi, Natalia, and Dana Brooke. Well, we know Dana Brooke can't afford a lead. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going even front. And I'm hey, like. You know what? It could be Natalia. You think? Hey, she mm. got uh, total diva money. I guess. Because I know Jey Uso ain't breaking off Naomi like that. No. <laughs> you know how cheap fucking men of color are, so we know that's not happening. So maybe it was Natalia. Well, you know what? I, I am not cheap. Allison, what? A- Allison, Allison gets some nice gifts. Oh, that's no, where the money uh, goes. Yeah, that's so exactly, yeah. <laughs> My last paycheck bounced as higher as Sabu in the ECW arena. It bounced, Sonny. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the part of that segment that got it. Then you go to the match. Why is Lacey Evans fighting a local competitor? Gentlemen, please explain. I, You know what? I was confused by that myself, but... Um, I was also distracted by the fact that you know, did you did you guys notice how Lacey Evans almost like kicked one of her titties out? <laughs> <laughs> yo, I will gladly yo. say I missed that part. Yo, so when she put her into the into the corner and she kicked her in the chest, one of her breasts almost popped out. Wow. It looked wow. like it almost popped out, like like the. Uh, what was her name? Uh, Ali, Ali Ka- something. Around. Ali Katrina. She. <laughs> that was the name of the local competitor this week. So uh, the she, hope. She no, looked, I was gonna say Ali the hope. Oh, <laughs> no. the hope. Ali the hope. Those are the thoughts and opinions of Ness oh, and wow. Teddy, and they do not She's represent the me. thoughts and opinions of Yep, I Like Wrestling. She's a Dante fan. So <laughs> her, her breast almost popped out. Like, she, you could see her kind of grabbing it like, oh, my God, uh, and then continue to take the bumps that, she, you know, Lacey was giving her. But it was, it was kind of funny because I, I, I tried to rewind it a couple of times. Oh, so she fixed her implants is what you're saying. I don't know if they were implants. They didn't look like implants. Okay. I miss the good old days when we used to have nip slips in the WWE. I really do. Yeah. I don't know why. I used to love them. I yeah. just do. But um, I don't like this this local competitor thing because they did the same thing with Oscar and mm. Carrie Zane some <laughs> weeks ago. Yeah. Now they're doing it. They yeah. But th- those chicks, those chicks were horrible. Oh though. God, they're terrible. <laughs> Yo, they were so bad though. It was like it was like they got. I remember when Kyrie when Kyrie Zane came off the top rope to give her the elbow. It was almost like she gave her a harder, stiffer she elbow did. because she was so bad in the ring. Yes. So like, be like, yeah, don't do this again. Yeah, she this put an extra piece of duck sauce on it for her. Like, she, she, <laughs> she hit it. Because she was frustrated. Th- let me tell you something. What we call local competitors used to be called jobbers, yeah. which also used to be called enhancement talent. Yes. But this is a thing that's from the 80s. This is just, but these these people that they're bringing in are just local talent that are just it's, from the area. They're not even like enhancement talent because enhancement talent I would consider talent that happens to be, you know, someone that travels on the road with them. That's regular talent that you know, like say, it's, a, it's the B squad, the the B team, the B team, the B team. Yeah. I look at them their role right now is as enhancement talent. Heath Slater this is, is a, enhancement talent. This really. is a thing from the eighties that they used to yeah. do, and it and it worked in the eighties. But we're in a different time. We're smaller. There's social media. They're not enhancement talent because it's like we know that they suck. Yeah. Like and we the know they're going to lose. Yes. Yeah. Back in the 80s, it was something like, oh, well, let me see this. But now it's, it's a different time, and it doesn't work. That match did not make Lacey Evans look any better. No. Mm-hmm. And we have too many people on the roster to need jobbers. Like you said, use the B team. Go use Alicia Fox. Go yeah. use Mickey James. Why are we using... Ali the Ho, as it says here on my notes. Yes, like, yeah. you know, it, it doesn't make. So this is, a, this is a bygone thing they use from the 80s that doesn't work now. It just doesn't. Yeah. But did you see Naomi in her green spandex? God damn. Her ass was in row one, two, and three. I'm not <laughs> kidding. I will say that, but I also talk about Dana Brooke. She, she looked, looked good. She, yes, looked real she good. did look good. I said, wow. That's and how I know that Louis Vuitton wasn't hers. Because <laughs> <laughs> she spent all that money on that outfit. Because you ain't got nobody left. So stop it. Let me find out the tie you got Louie, buddy. Yo, Shout out to TJ. Hey, man, mm. that that uh that total diva, total diva, that, that total diva money, that could rack up. Retirement plan. Yeah, good stuff. But speaking of retirements, <laughs> the Viking Warriors, or as I call them now, the Machine Experience, because I feel that's the next name that they're going to be given. I, I feel like we'll never say the name right. Uh, we never. don't know what it is anymore. So it's the dudes that were formerly known as War Machine. Yes. Yeah. Formerly War Machine took on Zack Ryder and Curtis Hawkins in a non-title match, which because why? which which means they were going to win. Do you think the War Machine, when they finish their matches, go back in the locker room and cry with each other? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "Yo, man, what happened to our career? <laughs> no, come here, man, I got you." And they just console <laughs> each other. Like you just feel. And, and, and then um, uh, Sarah Logan, Sarah Logan oh, comes yes. in and is like. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You know, just you just feel like it's just three Vikings crying in a corner, crying. <laughs> like, what happened to us? You know, you just cry. They don't even know what to name themselves. Yeah, just, they they should be calling themselves Vikings, Vikings crying in a corner, the crying Vikings. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. The crying, the crying Vikings. Vikings. And go send Sarah Logan out. <laughs> you know, the, the crying, crying Vikings. Vikings. It's just bad. Yo, let's hashtag that shit. The, the, the crying Vikings. Crying, like, it's just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they had such a good run on NXT, and then to come to this, it's just like, wow. Aren't yeah. they still NXT champions? Or no? No. I, oh, they, shit. Are they? I have I, no idea. Because uh, yeah, they kept on. Because the thing is that NXT is is uh, pre recorded. Is pre recorded. So they. So I'm not sure if they lost yet or or what. Because I haven't been. I haven't had a chance to catch up on um, on on uh, NXT. So I'm not even sure. Okay. So I've got three words for you, Sunny. Okay. Let me in. You will not believe how many times I've said those words this week. I really do. So <laughs> well, that's Bray Wyatt's catchphrase. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he says. Let me in. And my answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you may. Yes, you can, sir. All yes. right. Well, th- so there was a new segment of the Firefly Funhouse, which I actually enjoyed immensely. <laughs> Shit. Because I am a sadistic fool sometimes. So, as, we had, we as had, the youngest person at this table, <laughs> I feel the Firefly Funhouse is directed towards you. Me? Yes. How do you feel about this, sir? I feel like I'm just watching every week a new episode of Blue's Clues. Oh, shout out to Ray Blue's Wild. Clues. <laughs> Let's all talk about so rabbit. this episode was when, um, was when the dog destroyed the, the rabbit. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hate to say this. But we're done. Yes. That last one, was, we're done. Yeah. Bray Wyatt. It, it, it slipped, and now we're done. If you notice, they pan to the crowd during these. Yeah. The crowd is always dead oh, yeah. silent. Yeah. They don't quite know what to do with it. And just this last one was so, so ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I think we may have lost it. And I was giving it a chance. He could have made it work. Correct. But I feel he slipped into caricature, and he's done here. And before he started, he came before he got his pants off, Sonny. That's what I'm trying <laughs> to say. I mean... I was getting a kick out of the fact that the bu- that Mercy the Buzzard like totally ravaged the the bunny because yeah. like the the rabbit the the, 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 the rambly rabbit's ears were were gone yeah. the stuffing was in its mouth and then like when you go to the side of the kids that are sitting on the floor dep- all of them are like just depressed d- depressed and and just quiet and just I don't know, I just. I found a lot of humor in that shit, but that's because I'm a I'm a sick fuck sometimes. <laughs> and he cussed <laughs> out Abby the witch. He's like, "Mind your fucking business, bitch." This is between <laughs> me and Rambler. I was like, "Hey, watch your mouth, Mercy." So yeah, this. Wait, this wait, wait, wait. Did you want to give Mercy a disclaimer? I did want to give. I said, "What?" It's too much. The thoughts and opinions of Mercy. The thoughts and opinions of Mercy are his and do not represent the Firefly Funhouse. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck to you, Bray Wyatt. You are going. To need it. Moving yeah. on. Roman Reigns defeated Drew McIntyre via disqualification. And moving on. Yes, fuck Roman Reigns. <laughs> there was only one good spot. That reverse Alabama slam from to Roman uh, Reigns yeah. on that eight. Yeah, that, was, that was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Roman Reigns. Drew there McIntyre is a bit of a beast. And shout out to Roman who took it very well. So that was fun. It scared me because I was like, ooh. Yeah. In my mind, I don't know why, he's still a little, like, sick. Yeah. So yeah. certain spots I always get like, oh, no, but then, mm. yeah. So that's the only thing that made me cringe, but, uh, yeah. Speaking of cringing, what's that? The Usos pranked the revival with some Usi hot. Sonny, a moment of silence <laughs> for the death of the revival. Yes. Mm. They are dead. Sonny, yeah. Eddie Guerrero, my ex-boyfriend's hairline. And the revival. They're all dead, Sonny. They're dead. Can we just have a moment of silence? Because they're dead. Do it yeah. so hard oh, to say goodbye yeah. they to might the as well, revival. They might as well go get Shelton Benjamin's mama to go cry in the <laughs> aisle. Because you know there's always a black woman crying oh, at the No, no, oh, no. Take me with you, Don't Lord. take, take him from yes. me, Lord. No. <laughs> go get her because yeah. the revival is dead. Yeah. Yeah. That was the worst yeah. segment ever. Just terrible. Ever? Ever. That's going up there with Katie Vick. Okay. That's going up there with Bobby Lashley's three sisters. 
it's 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 Oh god, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's it's up there. Snitsky? It's up this. I like this. I like Snitsky. Uh, yeah, that segment was so bad. It was just so bad. And I feel bad. FTR, we might as well just can we change that to free the revival? Just let them go. You can't make them look any worse. Let yeah. them go to AEW. Let them go to TN. Just let them go. That segment was so bad and it looked bad. And this Scott Dawson just looked like a clown out there. Yeah, he did. You know, it, it was it was just it was horrible. Oh my god, so bad. And it was so poorly acted because it's like right about now it'll happen. It was like really. really? And the yeah. only one selling it was Scott Dawson from the beginning when he walked out. It's like yeah. Dash Wilder forgot about that. <laughs> it was just again. What do I always say? Nuance. Nuance. Yes, exactly. it was bad. But to watch them rolling around and he was literally sliding across the floor. It's like. Wow, what did these two men do to make Vince hate them so much? But then there's also, what did the Usos do for them to get thrown into this shit? Well, I mean... It's like, yeah. it's like every time I see the Usos on Raw, it, it's almost as if, all right, what dumb shit are they going to do this week? I mean, it, this reminds me of antics like of Edge and Christian yeah. back when they oh, were doing yeah. that five second of awesomeness. Like yeah, that yeah. kind of shit kind of reminds but it doesn't work with everybody. It, it does not it work with everyone. No. And this segment was terrible, and I feel bad for the revival. And the week before, when they did the back shaving, yeah, yeah, yeah. that shit was sexy as fuck. Like, I've rewound that like eight times. But now mm. it was just like, oh, fuck. This is not even funny And, and we, we actually mentioned it on last on the last episode. Yeah, Teddy probably answered oh, that Oh, absolutely. Shit. It's my so. screensaver. It is. I mean. Oh, God. But uh, <laughs> this, I just feel bad for the revival. Just let them go. Just let them go wherever. They, yeah, please, please, just what yeah. what little they have left. Just let them have it, yeah. please. And then uh, what little does No Way Jose have left? He had any? Did he have Lars any? Sullivan Did he took have away any? from me. I feel he had that. I feel he had that. that, that no, one. Lars Sullivan totally, totally, totally hate crime on uh, No Way Jose. Oh, God. Yeah. And um, that's about it. That's all I have to say about it. it no Way Jose, what little, what little – following he had with the conga line. By the way, I checked, Sonny. There were no hoes to look at. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what little bit he had last year, once the green hair thing came, it's no longer. Now we're being fed to, to Law Sullivan. It's just yeah. like... It went from no way Jose to... No way, dot, 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 Jose. Jose. No way. Exactly. Jose. Yeah. yeah. Before but that... The was... highlight of, the, of Raw, though, what was that? I will say was the final match, which is Kofi versus Daniel Bryan. For the WWE Championship, and I thought that match was a really good match. It was. Garbage. It was a. I think it was a great match. It was. I shit. think it was just Daniel Bryan's reversal of the um, uh, Trouble in Paradise. Yeah, I think he. You know what? Daniel Bryan doesn't get enough credit. No. He doesn't at all, because he. I feel like he carried this match. He did. For some odd reason, he carried this match. Well, he's used to carrying heavy objects. He's married to Brie Bella. I mean, he could <laughs> carry. <laughs> yes. I'm surprised he didn't carry Samoa Joe. Oh, oh, did you see Samoa Joe acting like the only child molester following We're Dominic? We're going to get to that oh in a minute. God. We're going like to an after school special. Like yeah. he followed Dominic down the, the little deserted yeah. alleyway. Yeah, yeah. we're going to get to that in a second. So before we start talking about any of that stuff on SmackDown, let me just first get out the way. On May 19th, we're doing a viewing party for Money in the Bank, as we always do. Money in the Bank! At Jack Dempsey's. And we're also doing a viewing party for Double or Nothing. Double or nothing. Now, what Teddy referred to earlier. DVDA. No, that is not what it's called. That's what it's called, Sonny. No. So I agree. Uh, make sure you check out our Eventbrite. Eventbrite? It's Y-E-P-I-L-W dot Eventbrite dot com. So you could go on to there to get Are your Are we ever resume. moving to Ticketmaster or like? DVDA. Well, you know, Ticketmaster at some, at some point, you know, maybe. Shout out to Cher. <laughs> <laughs> Shit was lit, was Nigga, that shit was lit. All right, so go ahead. Talk, talk about talk, make, make your share story. It was lit. All right, that's it. That's, it. that's all you're going to say about share? That's, that's all I got to say. Okay, share was lit. All right. Lit, my nigga. Lit. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody went to go see share right, and okay, it was okay, lit. Okay, okay. All right. So now let's get to, to SmackDown Live. Well, what? Before we leave Raw, Corey Graves cut his hair. I'm not mad at it. He's okay. bald now. Not mad at it. Also, Makes Shade sense. and The Miz, they did a spot where Shade was running and, you know, The Miz followed him and hit him with a chair out of limo. I want you to go back in time to 2003. Stephanie McMahon in Sable did this exact same spot. Almost move for move. Stephanie is at the limo. Sable chases her. They fight. 
they did this exact same thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's just That's my mind. Just remember shit like that. Sable and Stephanie fought at the limo. Yeah. And Vince was inside the limo. Same thing with uh, The Miz and Shane McMahon. We should do a frame-by-frame frame on uh, the yeah, 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 like wrestling. Yeah, side-by-side side comparison. I will do it when I get home. Yeah. Thank oh, you, you know what? One more thing before we, we end with uh, the Monday Night Wrestling program. I do have one thing I had to bring up. Corey Graves, when he was try in his effort to put Robert Roode over, yes. cracked me the hell up where he said, when Robert Roode comes, out, comes to a town, the divorce is... The divorce rate goes up. <laughs> <laughs> the divorce rate goes up. <laughs> And he looked right at Renee Young when he said it. So I know what he's Ooh. trying to say. <laughs> Your husband ain't here no more, bitch. You're about to get divorced. Yes. <laughs> yes. She's chanting AEW. AEW. Johnny Boxley. Yes. Imagine she comes out with an AEW jacket at one oh of the rows. Oh. <laughs> or just a jacket that just has a whole bunch of A's, E's, and W's. <laughs> like some abstract shit. Yeah, they'll she... blur the shit out of that. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be any worse than what she wears now. I say let her do it, for Christ's sake. Can it only be better? Yes. Oh, man. Sonny, SmackDown, let's do it. Yeah, so we had the continuation of the wild card rule. And, uh, wild card. Yeah, yeah. So we started off with AJ Styles, with it kind of made me say, I feel like this is an episode from a couple of weeks ago. Cut your fucking hair. You're 40 years old. You look like somebody's mother. Stop it. <laughs> Red your it's so boring. And depending, and depending on what part of the country. He looks it, like a soccer mom. Well, mm -hmm. I was going to say with the, bus, the mustache and beard. Too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to Kentucky because nothing good has ever come from Kentucky. Yes. Except chicken. Except chicken. Oh, that was a black joke. We're oh, not doing right. this. We're not doing this. <laughs> not, I'm not going to sit here and do this. I'm not. I'm not. But chicken is good in Kentucky. Oh, stop it. So is the watermelon apparently. Oh, and see. And the grape soda. Oh, but we're not oh, going to talk about I do this. love grape soda. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Yo, you know I what? Do. The interning's gotten all that right. It does. Yeah. An ice cold grape soda. Yeah, yeah. And some crystal meth. That's some good shit. No. Uh, no? No. No ice? Fine. Just the grape soda and the beer. <laughs> Sonny, Randy Orton has not changed in the past 10 years. No. He reminds me of a can of carnation milk in your grandmother's closet. Everyone, go to your grandmother's house now or your abuela, if you are Spanish. <laughs> in her top pantry, there is a can of carnation milk. It has been there since 1986. She doesn't know what to do with it. That's why it's still there. That's I'm Randy Orton. I'm going to tell you right now. What's that? That never happens in the Puerto Rican household. What did they use? Did they use Bustelo instead of carnation milk? No, no, milk? no, no. Carnation milk, if a carnation milk isn't used for coffee, it's used for Coquito. Oh, mm. shout out to Coquito. Yeah, exactly. So, but, poor, uh, poor which means that Orton. Randy Orton needs to go to Puerto Rico to get a better. <laughs> get, he needs some freshening up. Shout out to mm. Carly Colon. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, Sunny. Carlito Colon Sunny. and Carly Colon. Okay, listen, Sonny. Can you do the Saturday Night Sweat? Because I want to have a sweat off, too. I've never had a sweat off. Uh, Ooh. Before Ricochet. One, wait, so before wait. Before Ricochet. In one, two, three. Hey, everybody. I know you're driving home right now listening to Saturday Night Sweat. I'm filling in for Sonny. This is your boy, T-Pain. That's right, Teddy. And I know my boy Carlito Colon is out there listening. I just want to say one word to you. Slide, baby. Slide. That was three words. All right. I got away with <laughs> <Sunday. laughs> That's done. done. You're no. done. You're done. Damn. You're done. Saturday Night Sweat. Yes. But yeah, right. Red Orton needs some freshening up. And as does AJ Styles. I feel they both could use some freshening up. Yes, they are solid competitors. They have been for years. But give me some evolution. Give yeah. Sunny some nuance. Red Orton has not changed. That RKO out of nowhere, yeah, it's, it's exciting, but what else do you have outside of that? Not much. I mean, I kind of like the, I, I like what Ali was doing where basically he was like showing him up, like, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. And I, and, and I love the way that the camera got that shot of him saying that to Randy Orton. But it was funny how when he, uh, when he gave the RKO to Andrade, you see Zelina Vega on the outside like, oh, I ain't fucking with you. Oh, God. Because <laughs> she had a talk with Kelly Kelly. And, you know, Randy Orton don't play with women. He'll tell you in a minute, bitch move. Tell you in a minute. Because he the one who hit Nia Jax at the Royal Rumble. He hit her first. Like, yeah, because he was, what? <laughs> dying to hit, dying a, to hit a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um, I, I, I like what Ali is doing. He's like yeah. a little EDM sub-zero. I love when he comes out all lit up like that. <laughs> But, um, yeah, he is the only fresh thing with Randy Orton. Real quick, what did you guys think about 
Ali's vignette before the match started. Stupid. I wrote stupid here. Really? What no, you, what it was a rambling promo. It went nowhere. Yeah, it was stupid. I thought it was filmed very well, though. No. Well, you weren't, Sonny. Oh. But uh, you were half drunk at the time, anyway. Um, he was talking about eh. you got to look towards the light. Quarter drunk. Then he showed a street light. Bitch, that's the <laughs> best light? Like, what part of the hood is that the best light you got? Like, when I thought they meant metaphoric light. He literally po- pointed to a street light. I was like, bitch, where are you, Compton? Get the fuck out of here. It was stupid. It was a rambling promo. He didn't need it. Him coming out with that light-up gimmick, yeah. I think, really works for him. Don't well, yeah, but I mean, I thought the visual look was, yeah, but now that I think about it, it was kind of stupid. And so then Zelena and Andrade, um, no. I think Charlotte is getting into his head. You need to do more promos. No. Andrade, yeah. let me listen to you. No, you don't. Let Zelena talk. And I thought I'd never say those words, but no. If you have a manager, they're there to talk for you. Yes. You both don't need to speak. Why is he talking? I have it the foggiest time. Because Charlotte's like, babe, you know what would be great? That's what how white people talk. Yeah. You know what would be great, babe? If you gave a promo and then he said something like, Telemundo, Univision. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I don't know anything. Those that are the well, no I don't speak Spanish. I don't actually, you know what? I, I kind of actually got to let this slide. So down. she got into his head to yeah. do promos and he sounds bad. Yeah, but nah, he did it right after Zelina, so it caught. It sort of it was he was saying the same away. thing. Yeah, yeah, it took away from what she just did. It's like yo, for that then, why you even have her there? Thank you, Sonny. For the first time in eighty-one episodes, I agree with you. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. Not times. that I ever want to hear Zelina speak. Besides deals at Jimmy Jazz, that's the only thing I want <laughs> to hear from her. Oh yes, I don't yo, Teddy, we got those new Jordans on sale. <laughs> that's all I want to hear from her. Yo, you know what? I gotta, I gotta see if. Uh, my other kicks came in. Oh, did you get what like the cactus jacks? Or? Oh, I'm getting uh, the ones with the snakeskin. Oh, uh, I thought the cactus jack was the one. No, the, the 11s with the, the blue snakeskin. Oh. Yeah. Oh, jeez. There's a pair of pink and black ones I got my eye on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're getting those sneakers. That's the look she gave you. You ain't getting shit. <laughs> oh, oh, what are you getting rid of? And don't say Hit Tara. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's me. So, in the house, our audience of one consists of the love of my life who's looking at me like, oh, you're not getting any more sneakers you're not any because sneakers. You're there's, punishment. No, there's no place to put them. No place <laughs> like home. What she doesn't know is that I found a hidden place under the bed. Oh, <laughs> oh wait. Actually, I, I think she does now. She know. knows now. She knows now. Shit. Uh, damn. Babe, mm-hmm. pretend you didn't hear that. So let's move on to the next match where we had Daniel Bryan and oh, Rowan. God. About to be given. Wait, Rowan? The, yeah. Thought that was Ruby Riot. See, you learn something new on this <laughs> podcast each day. Yes. How about the same? Well, they're going to be tag champs. Yeah, yeah. They do not represent the total <laughs> opinions of Yep, I Like Wrestling. But uh, they were about to be given the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Yes. And then the Usos came out. So, <sighs> ne- uh, are the <laughs> Usos only good on Tuesdays? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know, Sonny, anymore. I don't know anything. Because this, what they did with, the, with Daniel Bryan and Rome was dope. Monday was not. I don't but know. But this was anymore. dope. Nez, help, I'm drowning. Mm-hmm. Help me. So the Usos are on Raw, right? They're on Raw. I, I I don't know. Okay, well <laughs> they're know. on. No, they they're a part of the Wild, wild, oh, card, the wild card Experience wild or, card. or, or yeah. Raiders so, or whatever it's called. A sheet. Out of all the tag teams they have uh-huh. that are thrown in the garbage, you couldn't pick somebody out besides the Usos. No, because it's the Wild Card. That's oh, yeah, it's a wild card. So they can attempt to win the SmackDown tag card. titles and bring them to Raw. Yeah. They and had okay. 80 tag teams doing nothing, and you're making the Usos do double duty. And by double duty, I mean Naomi. But then they were oh. on Raw and SmackDown. It's too much. Ooh, no. Go use someone else, for Christ's sake. Please. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, you know what's going to happen? The Revival's going to come out and do a run-in to save themselves. Yeah. And they did it. So they have literally buried the Revival and given them no reprieve. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. It would have been the perfect time for them to get a comeuppance. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And yep. they didn't get it. And it's... Are you guys ready <sighs> for the uh, recycled tag team titles? <sighs> whatever they're going to pull it out. What, a garbage? Whatever they... Oh, yeah. The Echo Friendly Tag Titles. Jesus. Another title that once... Um, Macrame. <laughs> it's going to be put out on... So, wait. Now we have... So, we have um, Daniel Bryan's WWE Championship that's on the WWE shop, selling for $400. Uh, what? Yeah, for oh, what? you didn't know that? Yes. You go to the WWE shop, they were selling whatever they had left for $400. Please. Yeah. I was actually trying to see, oh, maybe I'll grab it for No. $400 for I'm that? I'm not trying to pay for Birdie's college. Fuck Birdie. I'm not trying to pay all that money. <laughs> Fuck her. 
I went, yeah. I went on WB Shop. When I saw it was on there, I was like, okay, cool. I could buy it because it would be most max 150 maybe. No. I went on there and saw it was $400. And I swear I thought it was a revival with the Uso hot, whatever the <laughs> Uso hot. I was scratching. I was like, no. That was ridiculous. Wow. I couldn't. I don't know. What are they doing? What was so what crazy is that I was looking at that, at that belt. And I was like, all right, what's this shit contain? So then I'm looking at the 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 yarn. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually reading like the the description of the belt. So it's like the the pebbles are made of a particular resin. Turquoise. Uh, turquoise resin. Uh, the the wood is actual wood. Just and then it, it was like a side note saying because it's it's whatever kind of wood it is, it may differ in color from belt to belt. Because I'm like, yo, this is some. Whoa, I'm just going to bring the instructions to Home Depot and let's see what they can do You can that. go to Michael's and make I was going to say Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vince has real. dementia. He doesn't know anything. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. But they're selling $400 a pop, and I think they're probably even closer to selling them out. Hmm. You'd be surprised. Hmm. There's, there's, there are people hmm. that actually collect belts. I know. Yeah. Like, know like an obscene of a collection of yeah. belts. All kinds. That belt got so, – it's on, probably almost sold out. Yeah. Ridiculous. Well. The Miz and Shane McMahon continued their cat fight all around the arena. Yeah, they did. Um, is Shane McMahon in a program with Roman, or is he in a program with The Miz? Make He's up your in mind. a program with both on each show. Again, everyone's pulling double duty. Yeah. You know, it's just, okay. Like, we don't have enough people to go around. You've got no, people doing no. double duty. No. Fucking wild card, jackass of spades. I don't know what the fuck they want to call this shit anymore. <laughs> but, uh... Mandy Rose and Sonia Deville took on Carmella and Amber Moon. Yes. Half of that match was great. The other half, not so great. No, that match was actually pretty good. No, the half I was talking about was Amber Moon and Carmella. I can't stand the other two. I can't look at them. No. Mm. So, Sonny, one quick question. Uh, the Viking Raiders Machine Experience <laughs> dot com, whatever their name is now. <laughs> yeah. Um, they didn't want them on TV anymore because they didn't want to promote the word war anymore, correct? I that's why so. they were no longer the war. That, that's one of the rumors that's been going around. Okay. Um, quick question, Nez. What do we call Amber Moon? The war. Mm, yeah. Goddess. Thank you. Yes, so, again, Vince has dementia. No one knows anything that happens from day to day. So, we, t- we ruined this tag team because we had to. But meanwhile, Amber Moon is still the war goddess. Walking, yeah. Literal mm-hmm. no sense is made. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. There you um, try to keep this racial slur thing. It's, on. it's just. It's, it's, it's terrible. Yeah. I, don't, I don't get it. Got it's it. not even that special anymore. But yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah, I have no Maybe it's because she's not relevant that people are like, okay, that, <laughs> all right. Nobody cares because who is Amber Moon anymore? So, she, Vince is like, they're giving her a bit of a slide. push now. It's but okay. It's like, it's, yeah, it's nobody pays attention ladies. That's right. I don't care. So stupid. But, uh, yeah, and then Paige came out with Carrie Zayn and Asuka, and she said they are going to dominate the women's division next week. How about this week, bitch? Because we're watching right now. How about you let them <laughs> wrestle now? No? No. Next week. No. Gotcha. Next week. <laughs> it no. reminds me of a man who cheats. Okay, babe, I'm going to stop cheating on you next, next week. week. No, bitch, you're going to start fucking now. Fuck you. Like, no, do yeah. it now, Paige. Thank you. So, yeah, and, it's, and, and, and one thing about uh, Carrie Zayn kind of hard to take as serious as as her is like intimidating when she's spinning that Sp- fucking wheel. Ferris wheel yeah. spinning. Yeah, you know? <laughs> when she's spinning that wheel right there, like, what? yeah, <laughs> you know? I'm coming for you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> as if, fuck, really? Not that Oscar's even more intimidating with her, her coat of mask. eight raccoons and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, um, <laughs> let's just wrestle. Stop yeah. talking and let them wrestle. Yeah. And then Mandy Rose is in the money in the bank. Poor Sony DeMille driving trucks. I don't know anymore what goes on <laughs> anymore. I do know... I, I'm expecting a turn on that one, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I see Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose. I think... I have a feeling that Mandy Rose is going to be taken out by Sonya Deville, and Sonya Deville is going to be in the match. I'm with that. I have a feeling that's going to happen. Put someone who can wrestle. I can't look at Mandy Rose. Because they're playing too... Like, they're too close. Yes. Like, too buddy-buddy. Mm-hmm. And... Lesbian. <laughs> Shout out to Pornhub. Okay. Shout out to Pornhub. Oh, I hate when that happens. Let's when I, be honest. When about my glasses, I hit the wrong thing on Pornhub, and then fucking lesbians like, oh, <laughs> God damn it, where are my glasses? Good I can't God. do this. <laughs> fucking hate that. Fuck. Shout out to the iconic, speaking of lesbians. Yes. Where are and to they? all my lesbian fans, 
I don't get it, but thank you for listening. Mm. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Sonny, I got a quick question. What is the difference between Kevin Owens and a bag of shit? The answer? The bag. That's the only difference. <laughs> so. oh, wow. I don't get it. Uh, Go ahead. You two explain Kevin Owens to me. I'm going to sit here quietly masturbating. Kevin Go Owens ahead. is a good wrestler, man. You are, you are wrong already. <laughs> Fez, explain Kevin, Kevin Owens to me. Slowly. Uh, I'm old. Well, Kevin Owens is – he's something. How about that? He's what? He's something, he's, period. He's, he's humongous. He's, yes. yes. He takes up half the ring. Not Everything. Samoa Joe. He's not – Oh, Samoa, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe oh, is wait. the whole ring. Kevin Look, takes half. By the way, I don't call Samoa Joe Samoa Joe anymore. I now call him Joey Two Chins. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Becky Lynch, for that. <laughs> yes. But uh, Kevin Owens was in his car. Then he showed up in the last match with Kofi and Sami Zayn. And AJ Styles. And AJ oh. Styles. Sami Zayn has only been on TV for two weeks, and now he's in the title yeah. picture. I, he hates the crowd. He was in a dumpster, dumpster on Monday. He was literally match. buried on Monday yes. to fight for the belt or two. Again, Vince has dementia. He doesn't know what day it is. Yeah. He thinks he's married to Stephanie and not Linda. He doesn't know oh, what's going on. Jesus. Those are the thoughts and opinions oh, of Teddy. Stop it. And they do not represent the thoughts or opinions of Yep, I Like How can you disclaim me when Vince made that up himself? He wanted to get Stephanie pregnant. He I, did that oh, himself. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. All right, fuck it. I'll allow it. He just It's like there's no connection between Monday and Tuesday they anymore. Don't. No, no. The Fox and our U.S. <laughs> Fox and Walt <laughs> Disney. Fox and yeah, Disney, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's, I don't know. And Kofi Kingston, he, he, he came back out with the pancakes. I know you're upset with that. Yeah, pies. well, I wasn't that annoyed with it because we got him out in the beginning without the pancakes. Yes. So I was fine with it. Like, he showed he was a champion, and then later on he came out with a little – Stuff for the crowd. That's fine. I, I wasn't mad at that. Is is you have to show him just as being a champion. Yes. If you have that moment of him showing that he's a champion earlier in the show, if he comes out with the pancakes later, I'm I'm okay with it. It's fine. Guadalupe, are you happy with Kofi Kingston being our champion? No. No. Because okay, for historical purposes, yes. great. Yes. It was very uh. Very great moment for wrestling itself, you know, having an official, you know, African American champion, whatever you want to say, it, it black, whatever. Negro. You had even people like MVP who showed up to Colored. the, uh, <laughs> yeah. fucking city. You have people like MVP who showed up to the uh, event in Jack Dempsey's for WrestleMania and was pouring tears and was talking about how amazing it was to see this, which yeah. is great. And also sad from Crime Time. And from Crime Time, sad as well. Oh God. And, you know, for Kofi, it was a great moment, but now it's time to – It was just it like – It just happened, though. No, okay, yeah. But think He's about it. They did – this is what they did to Sami Zayn back in NXT. He was the underdog, never got – was able to win one, this and that, and he finally wins the NXT title just to get buried by Kevin Owens. You know what? Let's see how – the events of Money in the Bank, which we will be showing at Jack Dempsey's on May 19th, oh. will develop and let's see if let's l let's see how over as a champion him he is mm -hmm. that day. If he's not over as a champion, then yeah, uh, take it away. I need him to be Kofi. I mean, be Kevin at least. Yeah, I can't I'm stand. Sure. Yeah, that chubby bastard. It's either going to be Kofi or diabetes. One of them is going to be uh, <laughs> Kevin God. Owens. I'm just getting this feeling, and I hate to say this, of like a Jinder Mahal. Like the belt Ooh. was put on him just to sort of get us Pe through. Yeah. And I hate that because Kofi is so talented. Yeah, he's he could great. do so much. But I'm beginning to think he w he got that belt because he's black. Well, I think it's, it or was – Or brown, rather. I think it was the fact that Damn. he was riding the wave of a popularity that nobody saw coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it was not just the fact that him being the, f you know, to sub to many the first black champion, or to the rest the second black champion. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Dwayne Johnson. But it was I think it was also a thing that um. It, it was just seeing somebody with the belt that identified with a lot of people. The problem is, is that his promos are not that great. And when you think of the New Day, who were the ones that made the best promos? It was really Big E Xavier. And, and Xavier Woods. Mm -hmm. Xavier is the one that can yeah. work a and stick. Shout out to Paige. To Paige. Yeah, shout out to Paige. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. God. 
Brad Maddox as well. So and the filming of Je- Brad Maddox. Brad, oh, the, film. oh Matt, the best editing I've seen <laughs> since Steven Spielberg. Yes. <laughs> um, there was only one good spot of that match where AJ had Sammy and then Kofi ran up and he gave them all that reverse sort of DDT. Yes, yes. It was very Impact Wrestling-esque. But aside from that, like the match sort of fell flat. It did. Because, well, me, um, yeah. what's it called? Sammy. But, um, but you also had, but, but the thing is, I think it was also the fact that when KO came out, attacked Xavier Woods, it kind of looked as if, oh man, are they going to just give us the Sami Zayn as champion? Especially when he hit three of those. Um, he did three of them, but yes. They don't look effective is all I'm saying. No. Sammy was um, doing a tornado power bombs and couldn't put Kofi away with the, what, last second counts? He, he, I he felt like Kofi. Three. Yeah, he gave him three, and Kofi was able to kick out of all three of them. And it's like, he's not he's not that champion, you know? He's not going to be able to kick out of every little thing. No. And the problem I had much with like, with this match was AJ. Because what uh, AJ got hit with a trouble in paradise out of the ring, and mm-hmm. he just was laying there the whole time as Sammy was just <laughs> <laughs> he it felt like he was just sitting there on the floor like while everybody was getting by Kofi he was over here winning and I sat there like where is AJ at? He was getting all these close um kickouts and stuff. I'm thinking AJ is getting ready for a forearm yep. and he was just laying there on the floor. I'm just like w- w- where the fuck is AJ? Laying there happily saying thank God Samoa Joe's so, not after Wendy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he was just happy. He was happy, that's all. Well, speaking of Samoa Joe, which I'm glad we left it for last. Oh, God. Yo, Samoa Joe chasing after Dominic down a dark alley. <laughs> down a dark so alley. So creepy. <laughs> no, but it, it felt like, you know what? The acting was so bad between <laughs> Ray and Dominic that it was almost as if Ray did a, was setting them up. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> like, like, yo, yeah, yeah. Once we get, once we get me some water. Yeah, <laughs> like, it was so <laughs> ABC after school special. Like, yeah, and then he yeah, walks he set off him up, man. He's the large shadow of Samoa Joe following him. It no, was but like, the oh, best God. part was, you know, with your dad, Ray, or your quote, and then he did the quotation marks yes, Uncle or Eddie. Uncle Eddie. Uh, I said, like, oh, no, he not throwing shade. You're too big no. to throw shade, Samoa Joe. Stop it. <laughs> Actually, because he's big, he, that's why he <laughs> that's true. Shade. He throws he shade over the entire arena. He is the shade. He is the shade. You know, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that that was hilarious. That was <laughs> oh my god! But I have Uncle to agree with Eddie, April. What is uh, with Samoa Joe going after people's families? He never goes after you. He goes after your <laughs> <laughs> and it re- reminds me of another podcast where there was they were teasing a program with Samoa Joe and Matt Hardy, yeah. and I was like, oh god, he's gonna go after Reby, and then you were like, no, Reby would fucking stab him. Like he's not going. <laughs> Like, Reby's Puerto Rican. She's like, yeah, come here if you yeah. want to, Samoa Joe. But, yeah, he just it's just just creepy thing what Samoa Joe likes to do going after families. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It was, that shit was fucking hilarious, though. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, when, when you have a feud with Samoa Joe, <laughs> don't have no family just around. Tell your family <laughs> to be careful. You know, just lock the doors because he's coming after your wife, your mother, your child. <laughs> he comes after everyone. He reminds me of that movie Cape Fear. The child that's considered, that's possibly not you your know, child. Your nephew, you know, he goes after everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, the end of the, the, end of the main event uh, showed Charlie Caruso running down to ringside to interview Kofi right after the after match. Like, the he was match. still yeah. panting heavily. Yeah. She just popped up out of the crowd. And she did the same thing on Monday when Shane was running from the Miz. She was in the stairwell. She bu- I said, where did this bitch hide then? Like, <laughs> what she do? She just hide corners and shit to jump out of people. But, um, yeah, that's how SmackDown... Uh, SmackDown was a little lackluster for me. So, if we had to give her a grade for this week in WWE TV, what would you give it, Teddy? Collectively or separately? Uh... You know what, give it? Actually, says they're trying to d- continue with the brand split s- separately. Oh, it's a definite C- minus because SmackDown dragged it down. SmackDown went nowhere for me. And oh. usually SmackDown's a better show. So, and Raw was what? I would say it was like, you know, a B-. minus. Okay. Like, say it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. All right. You know. How about you, Nuz? I'll give Raw, I'll give it a B. And I give SmackDown a C+. Plus. I'll give it to them because, about, you know. What about you, Sal? I will give, I would give Smack, I mean, uh, Raw, I would give it definitely a B. And, yeah, uh, SmackDown, I would say about C-. minus. Yeah. yeah. SmackDown fell flat for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, 
It definitely did. Half but, the uh, champions weren't even there. Where was Balor at? He then he cut. Oh no, he cut. He, he, he cut a promo from Ireland. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That he would be at Money in the Bank. Like, no, great. Like, like oh, you just don't come to work. You just don't come. <laughs> You're IC champ. You, you don't have to. You you just wait until the pay per view comes. Like, yeah. Stay Nobody down. cares. Sonny, it is Wednesday. I have to go see the premiere of Empire. So take us out. Why are you gonna go see the the premiere of Empire? Because it's the last show of the season. Sonny. You know that Justin isn't gonna be in there. No, he's gone. Gone. <laughs> I tell you, he's gone. He's gone. He fucked up. Yeah. See, can't trust black men for shit. Can't trust them <laughs> for shit. Sonny, take us home. And that's a wrap for episode 81. God, we're old. Of the Yep, I Like Wrestling podcast. Uh, it has been a joy to do this episode for you. Please remember that we're going to be doing a viewing party for Money in the Bank on May 19th at Jack Dempsey's, as well as a viewing party for Double or Nothing AW. Oh God! On May ni- on May twenty fifth at Jack Dempsey's as well. Twenty five, exactly twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Don't listen to Teddy, please. Don't listen to Teddy. And um, make sure you go to our Eventbrite, which is yepiow.eventbrite.com, to reserve your tables. Or you can also reach out to us on all our social media by following at yepiow. Also, please subscribe to this podcast. Either on YouTube, yes. which is youtube.com slash YPIOW, or on all podcast platforms by searching Yep, I Like Wrestling. This was fun. Yes, it Great was. Time. Great time. So oh, no, I was talking about my grinder, Sonny. Sorry, oh. I, I wasn't listening to that last part. Are oh. we done here? Yes, we're done. So, on oh. behalf of today's episode, my name is Sonny Sofrito, and today I was joined by the general manager experience. <laughs> I'm changing, Sonny. I'm changing. You're changing it? I'm okay. transitioning, if you will. And I was also joined by Guadalupe, a.k.a. Whoa. The Incredible Intern. The Ness. Incredible Intern. <laughs> dot, 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 Ness. Shout out to dot. Monica Lewinsky. Go ahead, Wow. Sonny. Oh, okay. Whoa. No. No, no, no. Would that no, make no. you Bill Clinton, Teddy? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, ooh. Wrap hey. this up. <laughs> 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 so, I guess on that note, <laughs> peace out. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you later. Hurry back, Tara. All right. Bye. Suck on that, Des. I'll wrap it up. <laughs> I've never said that. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> um. okay, who's better, Jordan LeBron? LeBron. LeBron? So this is Nez's uh, final time as an intern. Because he just has some blasphemous shit right now. They didn't. They didn't put it away. Uh, they made Kofi. Oh, oh, oh. I think this floor is closed. Are you looking for the bathroom? Yeah, this floor's closed. Yeah, it's, this floor's closed. It's only the, f- the first floor. It's, what did you say about me? <laughs> That's <laughs> what I was about to say. I was like, Teddy, you, you gotta, you gotta handle that. Right to my face. You see what I deal with, this general manager here, Sonny.